Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Hi everyone. I don't know what to say now that I'm not saying welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. So this morning we actually have a little bit of a emergency situation. It's not, nobody's dying or anything, but Ali, show them your finger. Mm -hmm. show, I show them your gammy finger. Let's see if we can show, can you see that? It's actually a little bit green on top. He's got a little infection in his finger. So we're having to, well we have, we've got a doctor's appointment in like half an hour. So I had to phone up and it took about 20 minutes, continuous phoning and phoning to try and get an appointment. So we're going there in 20 minutes. Sally, Mark's just came in and the door. Can you hear the door? One second, let me shut the door. Anyway, we wanted to open our advent calendars, our advent calendars, because I forgot on Sunday that I had an advent calendar. I opened everybody else's, Mum and Mark's, the twins, the dogs and the cats and Ali's, and forgot about myself. So, Ali, do you want to go first? Ali's just opening up day three and his homemade advent because it's still too early for chocolate. Yeah, it's so too cheese. early for chocolate. <laughs> oh, it's math riddles. <laughs> I've got a math riddles for smart kids. It's a little book. I think I just got this off of Amazon. Because you're a math genius. And I thought this would help you become even more of a math genius. Why do you look so sceptical when I say that you are? Your because teachers have told like, me. It seems like you're, they've phoned you. You're, no, they've not phoned me. Your teachers have told me you're really good at maths. Alright like, then. Very, very good at maths. But it seems like you're trying to make me do maths over the holidays. No, I'm not trying to make you do maths <laughs> over the holidays. And my advent calendar this year is this Nivea one. Oh. I could t take you through all my inner workings of my brain on how I decided to get this one but I was going to go for a coffee one and then I was going to go for the glossy, no not glossy box, is it glossy box? Yeah glossy box, is it glossy box? Yeah glossy box, their advent but in the end I just went for this one because this has things that I will actually use in it, it has all the quite a few lip balms and I love the Nivea lip balms and I need lip balm at this time of year and it also has quite a few hand creams and body lotions and face creams and all that as well so also because this is quite cheap it was £20 in Morrison's and it was on offer for £10 when I got it so super cheap advent calendar for you know one of the more luxury advent calendars anyway I can't justify spending the money on the glossy box one which I think was 70 odd pound or any sort of makeup one especially when I'm not going to use the products as often as I would use the products in this one so I've still not opened day one yet so let me find <coughs> let me find it Ali's still got a little bit of a cold but he's getting better it's not as He's not been as coughing, he's not been as, he's not been coughing as much. Oh, I need to take this off. And see on this it shows you all the things that you can get. Right, number one. Oh, number one's a big one. Whoa, oh, oh, and then it's, you open the door and it's still hidden. Still don't know what I've got. Oh, oh, that's a good size bottle. Body lotion. I've got a body lotion for dry skin, so that's perfect for me at the minute because the winter just dries out my skin. I love that's a really good size bottle. I thought they'd be a lot smaller than that. Number two. Oh, what's this one? I'm hoping for a hand cream. Oh, that's a shower cream. That's going to do like one shower, but it's okay. And number three. Can you see number three now? Oh, yeah. A 
That's the smallest thing I've ever Oh. Oh, it's a... It's a shower oh. puff. I actually need a new one of these. <laughs> and that goes with my shower puff. Oh, it's, it's like a full size one. It's a shower puff. I love these for in the shower and the bath. And I need a new one, so that's quite good. So that is the first three days of my advent. We're now going to get our shoes and coats on and head down to the doctors. And we'll speak to you when we get back and let, Ali, let you know how Ali gets on. So it's actually one o'clock now. It's been a few hours since I took Ali to the doctors. I think we were done within like 10 minutes. Well, we waited a few minutes and then the doctor saw Ali for a few minutes. She took his temperature. He's fine. The only issue is his, the little infection in his finger, which she thinks he got from biting his nails and chewing the skin round his nails and stuff. And she's, he's pulled it a bit much or maybe a bit of dirt got in it if it's been... Um, broken skin or something. This is the second one that Ali's had this year so she gave him a little bit of a lecture about biting his nails and the skin round his nails. When we walked into the doctor's surgery earlier on my sister-in-law Emma was there with my niece Emma Jean. Emma Jean has been in a video, I think it was a Meals of the Week way back at the start of the year when I first started doing YouTube. So Emma Jean was there She'd been up all night crying in pain because she's got a little ear infection. Bless her, she's only five years old. She must be in pure agony. I know what it's like to have an ear infection. They're probably one of the worst type of infections to get because it's really painful. So I've been busy all morning. I've literally not stopped until the last 15 minutes. All morning I have been just tidying up and everything. I know I might make it sound like my house is a tip, but I do like my house to be quite nice and tidy. And with the dogs and the cats, their hairs just get everywhere. So I feel like I'm forever sweeping my floors. I do it like two to three times a day sometimes. Maybe not during Vlogmas because I won't have the time. But I also wanted to mop my living room floor because I'm going to put up the Christmas decorations this afternoon. Well, at least the Christmas tree I'm going to get done this afternoon. I'm not sure about everything else because I know there's still a few bits that I want to get and I just haven't made it. To the shops to have a look yet so oh no my battery's going to die right i need to go and charge this before i get the christmas decorations sorted for the last hour and a half i have been putting up my tree i've got it to the stage where it's obviously just got the lights on just checking to see if there's any gaps i think it looks okay so let me tell you about my christmas tree it's maybe not the prettiest of Christmas trees. I got my Christmas tree the year that I moved into this house, which was 11 years ago. We moved in when Ali was one and uh, was pure dead skint mate. And I did not have £200 to go and buy a new Christmas tree. And I did have a little mini, like three foot one or something like that. And that was what I was going to be using because I didn't have the money to buy a big... Christmas tree like this happened to be in a charity shop one day and they were selling this for £10. I freaking love this Christmas tree. I don't care what anybody says. You can slag me off in the comments if you want. I love my Christmas tree. Every year I say I need to get a new one because I am a bit better off now and things like that. I mean I'm not rich obviously but I'm, I'm better off. <laughs> I'm never going to part from this Christmas tree. It just makes me so happy. I have a big emotional attachment to this Christmas tree. I always find some excuse as to why I can't get a new one. Like this year, I had chosen a new Christmas tree. It was £225 from Argos or b &Q, One of those. And it was a lot fuller and it had the branches that you just pop in and you can sort out without having to do it on the tree. You could just sit back, relax and sort them out and then put them on the tree. But my excuse this year was that we've got the kittens and the kittens will wreck it. They'll probably, they probably will wreck it to be fair. This may be the Christmas trees last year in the living room, but the kittens are the excuse this year. Last year, I don't know what the excuse was, I can't remember, but there's always some excuse that I make to myself to nobody else. There's always some excuse that I make to myself as to why I can't get a new Christmas tree because I love my Christmas tree. That might sound ridiculous to have an emotional attachment to a tree. 
a plastic tree, not even a real tree, but I just love it. It just brings me so many happy memories back of a time where I was struggling and this tree just made me so happy because I thought I was going to have to put up with a little three foot one and that wasn't very Christmassy at all. It was still Christmas but it just makes me happy. And it also reminds me of my first Christmas in this home when I had this tree that I didn't think I was going to have and my dad was here. It was my dad's last Christmas with us. And I'm going to confuse you with my dad and my stepdad and blah, 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 blah. Don't want to go into it too much, but basically, my stepdad, Doogie, he passed away in 2009 and I call him my dad and also my birth dad, Stephen, I also call him my dad. So my dad that passed away, this was his last Christmas in this house, so it brings back a lot of memories of that. And it also brings back so many nice memories of other Christmases where we've had Christmas in this house. I just can't bear to part with it. And I know that's a lot of talking, just about my flipping Christmas tree, but I just feel that it needs me to stick up for it because people are probably going to think, what the hell is that raggedy old Christmas tree? I love it. So the lights that I've got on it, I think they're looking pretty fine. I got them the next again year. So I've had these lights for 10 years. I got them from B&M, they were $14.99 and they've lasted 10 flipping years. How good are they? And they have, they're multi-function and they are multi-coloured, which brings me on to another subject. My theme for my Christmas tree this year is, there's no bleeping theme. I don't do themes with Christmas. I just buy what I like. I like colourful things. I love the Christmassy colours, but I don't decorate to a theme. I just buy stuff that I like. There is lots of reds. There's quite a lot of green, but mostly it's all multicoloured and stuff like my lights. I, I don't really, I don't mind like the white lights and stuff like that. I don't really mind them at all. They're not for me, for my tree anyway. I do have thing, white lights that go up in my window or warm white or something. I don't know what they are, but I just love multicoloured lights on my Christmas tree. Don't even get me started on the flipping blue lights. Do not even get me started on the blue lights. Anyway, trees up, lights are on, took an hour and a half to get to this stage. It maybe still needs a little bit of tit, tit titivating, can't say words. I'm going to start putting decorations on it. I got this, I wanted this last year but I didn't get it because I'd already got my a couple of new decorations last year. I'm so glad that I didn't get it when it was because it was five pounds and then I went to the January sales and got it for a pound at Primark. For those who've been around since the beginning of the year you will remember this in a Primark haul in January. It was probably my very first Primark haul. My platform nine and three quarters ornament so pretty, so I'm going to try and put that smack bang in the middle of the tree. A couple of other new ornaments that I got myself this year. You may see these another couple of times, not these particular ones, but... Or hear me talking about these. I got one for Diego. The little doggy one and I also got Rosie one. This was my special new ornament stay still from last year. I have a feeling that I bought another one for this year but I can't quite remember what it is because you know I'm buying stuff constantly. This is my favourite ornament gutted that there's not a Christmas special this year, by the way. BBC. This is, you can see it on the label as well, this is a homemade thing that Ali done. Well, it's not homemade, it was made at school or nursery, actually, I think this was made. These are Santas from my mum's tree back in the day when I was a kid. We used to pray to on Christmas Eve. 
I want to say prayer. Let's say make a wish. We made a wish to these Santas on Christmas Eve when we were kids. And I mean, you can tell they're old. And we wished for things that we wanted to get from Santa. That's what we've done. And when Ali was younger, I used to get him a make a wish to Santa on Christmas Eve. He doesn't do it now because he's 12. But I still like putting them up because they're just... You will notice this as a running theme throughout me putting up my Christmas decorations is that I'm very heavily influenced by my childhood memories. Please leave a light on for Christmas I knew I'd got another ornament for this year. I totally forgot about this and I only, this is probably the last one that I bought. You would have seen this if you watched Ali's birthday vlog. This is a Starbucks tree ornament. I've not got any of the mugs or that, I just thought that it was quite cute. For all who spend it on their own. It took me like three and a half hours to get that tree done. Um, I definitely do not think I'm going to finish the Christmas decorations tonight. I forgot that I need to actually pick up some of these suction hook things. I meant to go into Poundland <sighs> yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I was working, God, I'm already losing track of dates. Yeah, yesterday I wanted to go into Poundland and pick some up to put my lights up in the window because usually I use drawing pins and they're a bit of a bugger, to be honest. So I thought these suction hook things would be brilliant. So I think I'm going to go into Poundland maybe on my way back from work on Thursday. I mean, it's not actually on my way back from work. I have to go a bit further into town to actually get to Poundland. But it'll be worth it. So I might not get all my decorations finished until the weekend. And I need to put ceiling things up. But Mark's actually really busy on his working on it, welding his car. So I don't want to bother him with that today. I want to let him just get on with his car. So maybe I'll get him to do that if he's here Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday I'll be here because I'm working, so he looks after Ellie when I'm at work. Anyway, I've done my tree. My tree's finished. I don't put tinsel on my tree, by the way. I like tinsel, but I don't like it on the tree. I like it, like, round photo frames like this. I'll probably put some round that. If you can hear scratching noises and all that, it's the kittens at the door. I've banished them because they're just attacking everything. At the minute. I'm going to clear the side unit here of my usual pictures and stuff that are up there and I'm going to put my Christmas ornaments up. The only thing is I do need a runner for this so I don't know where to get one. I've seen a few. There was ones in Poundland but they were blue. Um, I think Old Bargains had some so I might try and go up there Oh, I'm going to my dad's on Saturday actually, so home bargains, there's a home bargain right beside time, so I might pop in there on Saturday and try and get the runner up. But I'm going to put the rest, everything else up at the minute. Please leave a light on for Christmas And maybe one so lost can finally find a home Christmas. Just found more of Ali's handmade stuff. I forget about these every year, but they're always put out every year. So he made two of these little stocking, they're just like, you know, when they mix the flour and water and that, and then they painted them. He's got two of these stockings. They just sit on my TV unit because I don't know where else I'm meant to put them. They weren't like made into a Christmas bobble or anything, otherwise it would have been easier. But I just lay them on the TV unit beside a couple of Christmassy candles. And I also found this like little garland that he made. <laughs> I don't know if it tells you how old he was. This is only a few years old. Maybe primary three or four it was. He made this in. That's his present. And I just put this above my fire, my fire, <laughs> I wish I had a fireplace. I put this above my radiator with this above it. 
So it's like a picture frame, like a wreath. And I've put in it pictures of Ali from childhood up until I got it, which is probably about this one would be the most recent one when I got it. Look, baby Ali, that was him in the hospital. And in the middle you're supposed to be able to write the countdown to Christmas. You can see I've tried, but anytime I get some sort of chalk or that, that's really bad. It doesn't write on it very well. Oh, I've got black all over my hand. It doesn't write on it very well, so I'll try and write something. Maybe get a chalk pen or that. That may be better. So that's something else I need to pick, at pound, pick up at Poundland. Later on, when I'm editing this, I'm going to be writing myself a little shopping list this is like my reminder to myself <laughs> so that'll go above my radiator or this underneath i think i'm going to take a little break right there i don't know if i'm going to come back to this tonight but if not i'll finish it off tomorrow because i'm off tomorrow again i'm just going to go and make the dinner and then i've got to pop along to my brothers so i'll try and take you with me okay food has been consumed we had our dinner we had fish and chips and tinned spaghetti which i think is like half a sin or something like that I had the smoked haddock fillet. Uh, Mark and Ali, they had like battered haddock fillets. And we all had Slimmer World chips, so it was lovely. I was driving the cats wild with the smell. They were constantly yowing at me until I gave them some food and a little bit of the fish skin. Can't give them too much at the minute because they're still babies. Oh god, I thought somebody was coming in that door there. Now Ali and I are popping round to my brother's. He literally lives five, five minute walk away. And I'm going to pop into the shop on the way to get some sweeties for Baba, Emma Jane, because she's not feeling well, so n no, you're not getting any sweeties. Yeah, so I'm going to go and get Emma Jane some sweeties because she's not feeling very well, so. I'll try and vlog when I'm there, it just depends if my brother lets me. He might let me film the kids, he won't let me film him, I don't think. Oh my god, how festive is this house? Wait there, I need to stop. Oh, it gets better and better as you walk. Oh my god. It's so nice. And actually, I, I don't think, I don't know if it's picking it up, but see up that window up there, there's like an animation of Santa playing. It's so nice. I love all the little deers. And I've got something on the wall as well. Nice, they take Christmas serious anyway. Not faking Christmassy. Look at my brother's Christmas tree and his garland. I love it. It never looks as good on camera though as it does actual in real life. It's so nice. And look, they've got a train track underneath. This used to be my train track and before that it used to be my mum and Mark's train track. But I thought Ali was just getting too big for this and I was losing space in my living room so I gave it to Colin because he's still got little ones. Here's Baba. She does that to yeah. I know she does. How are you feeling? A little bit better. A little bit better. Have better. you had a sleep? You've you managed to get a sleep. I got you a treat because you weren't feeling very well. You're welcome. Hi. What was that face, Caitlin? Nothing. Well, I wouldn't have come without something for you, good lot, would I? So there's hey. one of them each for you guys. She did say thank you. Hey. Where's the boys? Hey. Where's Dad? Work. Oh, is it work? Oh well. So this is Colin. Colin has five kids. Well, so does Emma, his wife. This is their second youngest, Emma Jane. This is the middle one, Devil Child, Hi. Caitlin. <laughs> and this is Baba. This is baby Chloe. This is my nephew Kyle. He's livid when he found out that I was vlogging his little sisters and not him. So he wants to be in it today. Say hello. Hello. Kyle is actually the same age as Ali. Actually, you two stand up. Stand up so we can see the difference. Ali and Kyle, there's the only... I'm oh, sorry, they're not. There's Because Ali's birthday is November. Stand back to back. 
Ali's birthday is November and Kyle's is January. <laughs> There's like two months difference. Look at the height difference. Kyle, <laughs> put your head up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And people actually always get them mixed up. Eh? I don't know how they managed to get them mixed up. It's like getting Santa mixed up with an elf. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like gone up. It really is, by the way. It's genuinely like gone up to an elf and gone, Hey, a Santa for Christmas, I want a bumblebee. Fiona, you'll appreciate this. Kaya, what team do you and your family support? Celtic. And this is my brother's oldest. This is Keith, who is the double with my brother. My brother's not actually here tonight. He's at work, so Keith's 13. And Ali's still taller than him. Mama, well, I ah, yes. <laughs> <coughs> I'm just about to leave, and look what Caitlin and Emma Jane have gave me. They've gave me Christmas cards. Look. Well, look. Oh, focus, oh, focus. She likes me better. No, don't. Hello. It's now 12:44. Can you see that? 12:44. Quarter to one in the morning. We got back from my brother's house about nine o'clock it was, just after nine o'clock. We were there quite late tonight and I uh, just came upstairs and started editing the vlog for today and I've just got to the end and I'm like realised that I've not ended it, actually ended it and said goodnight. I've not shown you all my Christmas decorations because I did get a little bit more done than I had filmed. I think I'm just going to show you guys that all tomorrow because hopefully I'll get them all finished tomorrow bar the few things that I've got to pick up like the runner and other miscellaneous bits and bobs so I will show you, oh my god this is way past my bedtime so I will show you all the decorations tomorrow that I've got done so far anyway it is another bit of a homey vlog tomorrow because I've got other bits and bobs. I'm hoping to get some Christmas wrapping done tomorrow when Ali's at school. Finish off my decorations. Because, well, Thursday I'm working. Friday, Ali's half day from school. Can't remember what... Oh, I'm getting my hair cut on Friday as well. And at the weekend, we're literally out all weekend. And then back at work on Monday. So Tuesdays and Wednesdays are going to be probably pretty homey vlogs because they're the only days that I can really get anything done in the house and I need to be in the house. I am a mother and I need to be able to do housework and wash clothes and get other bits and bobs ready. So I'm sorry if you're not a fan of the homey ones, but we are going out of the house at the weekend. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogus Day 5. No. Vlogmas Day 5